Wow, this is just incredible. So, about one month ago, I received uh, cocoons from uh, Uganda. They were collected from the wild. And they were cocoons of steel moths, um, which are the family of moths that I like to study the most. And it looks like this incredible beauty just emerged from these cocoons. What a beautiful moth. It's definitely an Epiphora. I don't know the idea of the species. But I'm going to take off a leg and send it in for DNA testing. Obviously not when it's alive. But this moth has a short lifespan and when it dies I'll send a leg to a laboratorium in the UK to DNA test it. And then we'll see what species it is. This is quite a joy to see. It looks like I have a natural pairing of a mystery, a mystery species of Epiphora moth from Uganda. This species is no, has not been ID'd. I've been working on it, but they are very complicated. They look uh, similar to Epiphora plutsi or Epiphora intermedia, but honestly I'm just not sure whatever they are. In fact, I thought the male and female were a different species. Although I've been convinced they were the same species since yesterday and this pairing pretty much confirms it. Well actually not because sometimes hybrids can form when different species pair, but yeah, I still think they're the same. Too bad I can't show their amazing colors right now because they're pairing. I don't want to disturb them. So let's leave them here to do their own thing. If you want to see the developments, check my YouTube channel, please.